Yo guys, in this video I'm just going to be running through my VAR quest to get the bloody finger and make my way to Mogwin Palace. I've heard this is a very good high level area for late game rune farming, so I wanted to get this out of the way. The starting grace point is going to be the fallen ruins of the lake. We're going to make our way to Rose Church where we're going to meet VAR. Bear in mind this does have to be done after you've beaten Godric the Grafted and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hold. Ah, there you are. You've had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hold. What was your impression? Uh -huh. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts have been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted. Their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. After your first conversation, do make sure to engage again with Vart. This is where he's going to give you the festering bloody finger. Now, cut a long story short, basically use these three times, invade three worlds. One, I despawned out of, you'll see in a minute, it cut me out instantly. Second one, I defeated the guys, third one I lost, so it doesn't matter whether you win, lose, die, or disconnect, as long as you invade three worlds and then come back to Vart after that. My lambkin. Once you've used three of your festering bloody fingers, go straight back to the Rose Church and we're going to speak to Var again. He's now going to give us a new item after some dialogue, which is a white cloth, which we need to get stained with some maiden's blood. Don't know what this guy's obsession is with maidens, but to him, I'm just a maidenless runt. So we do need to go find uh, another maiden's blood. So pleased you're here. I'm glad that you enjoyed my gift. Mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Hmm, yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. For your final trial. Soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. I have seen some people using Irina as the maiden, they kill her before doing the quest. I did not want to complete that as a well, I'd already completed the castle down south, so we're going to go to the foot of the four belfries grace point. Now at this point we're going to head up to the four belfries, this will be my first point in the game. We'll get the grace point and uh, we'll head to the top tower which does have a chest with an imbued sword key inside. This may or may not be your first Imbued Sword Key, I have found one elsewhere, I think mine was in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. We're going to head down to the third church up, or the third tower up, and we're going to use the teleporter there. It is going to require an Imbued Sword Key, just like the Stone Sword Keys, put it into the Gargoyle or Imp's head and that will open the portal.
Okay, so you may or may not recognise this guy, Grafted Sky, and he is the first boss you come against on your Elden Ring journey just before you teleport back to the, uh, the first step or stranded graveyard. So you're going to take this guy out and then head on straight through once the boss wall opens, and we're going to go and get a Maiden's Blood. So this is the maiden, we're going to use her blood. Thankfully she's already dead so no bad karma on your part, just dip the cloth in there and bring that back to Var at the Rose Church. And that's it, so I didn't include the final dialogue, we'll leave that for you and your quest with Var, but this is where you receive the Pure Bloods Knight Medal. Now this is what's used to transport you over to Mogwin Palace and get to that area of the game. This was a bit of a longer video compared to some I've seen for this, so I thought I'd upload to give a full rundown on how to complete this part of the quest.